Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 35 of the Iron Man series. I ended up catching the flu halfway through this episode and I lost my voice so that is why this one is a little delayed but it did allow me to stack up a bunch of clips so this one should be a little longer than usual. I forget to shout out the CC every episode so I'm squeezing this hell out in early before I do forget. Come join the CC guys if you're bored or just want to say hi. We've started to run weekly competitions. This week is runecrafting I believe. So if you're a weirdo that loves runecrafting, come join and possibly win yourself a bond. Personal best, almost broke that 40 minute mark. Not bad. No pet unfortunately, but we do have another cape to the collection. Fuck. I, c <laughs> I can't pick it up. My lamp. No. There is 91 fishing, we can now boost to complete the Mauritania Elite Diary, but I'll probably hold off on that until we hit 92, because I do plan to get that this video, just so we're making some sort of progress towards that base 92 goal. Now I don't remember if I've ever mentioned this in a video, but I do have a little mini goal of reaching a 1 million minnow stack. And after that I'll hand them in for the sharks and probably do barb fishing until 99, but let's go check out what the stack is at currently. Chuck these in and we are currently at a 177,000 stack, so almost 20% of the way there. I received an easy, medium and hard clue from fishing and then I remembered I have an elite clue in Watson, so let's try and complete a master. Are you serious? I just got this cape back and now I have to get it back again? Probably due to that new quest, I guess we'll complete them today. Hey, we got the master casket. There aren't many masters we can't do anymore, so the chance of completing these is pretty high. What do we get? Uh, whoa, 777k, Magic Seed, Armadillo Page, that is a nice clue. He's not uh, calling for me call. though. Happy calls in the, in the video, but no calls in the game, fuck's sake. Oh, here you go, here's a call. Aggressive. Nathan, cool. Because you're so aggressive. Hello. By the way, the video can hear you now. Oh, fuck. Hello, everyone. And welcome to the <laughs> Fuck <end>. you. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking when I call the fucking <laughs> Oh my bad, it's uh There you go. Twenty exactly. seconds have passed. I wait twenty seconds before you call, I can attack for ten seconds. God damn it. Who <laughs> died? Wow, Myth just did not kill the guys attacking my Zerka. He, <laughs> oh, he let my Zerka die, he just let them beat on him. I didn't expect to get this this episode, but we are about to complete the Kandarin Elite Diary. I think... Now we are about to complete the Kandarin Elite Diary. There we go. Kandarin Elite completed. I guess there's no reason to wait on level 92 fishing to complete this Mauritania Diary now. So let's go knock it out. And there it is, the Mauritania Elite completed. We have now completed every single achievement diary let's go pick up the cape there is the Mauritania elite handed in we get an extra herb patch and a hundred percent fully working bone crusher now put these legs on i like the way they look put this on herb lore let's hand in the final one look at all that green that is fantastic i think the only decent things from this one are the unlimited teleports to sherlock and the extra herb yield but let's put another 50k on the herb lore. We are now only 298k from level 96. Before we go and pick up that achievement diary cape, I want to complete these right here so we can get back our quest and music cape once again and trim them straight away. There is the Zaya quest knocked out, another teleport to the book. As far as quest boss fights go, that was pretty fun, I enjoyed that. All the running around in the actual quest was a bit of a pain in the ass though. But overall, I am looking forward to the Theatre of Blood. I really want that scythe. Always been a huge fan of them. But there is the quest complete. Let's see if we have unlocked the quest cape and music cape once again. Quest cape, yes. Music cape, yes. Fantastic. Let's go pick up that achievement diary cape. Let's pick up another cape. Thank you very much. Let's trim the quest cape. And the music cape. Alright, we both have them trimmed. This has an emote, right? It certainly does. Another cape to the collection. We might even pick up two more capes this episode if I do enough Slayer. That being the range cape and the defense cape. All the diary gear sitting there looking pretty in purple. I love it.
Wow, I I did not expect to get it. Wow, okay. Well, that is our second skilling pet. I was on my other account, and then I saw it at the corner of my eye. That's nuts. We are 91 fishing, 141k to 92. All right, let's ensure our second skill pet. It's nice to knock it out early, so when I do go for all pets, I'm not grinding away for it. There we go. How many do we have now? Three, we got six because we don't include the dodo. Um, fucking chompy chick. 92 fishing, one skill closer to that base 92 stack goal. Let's go check out what the minnow stack is looking like. We are just over 420,000, almost halfway to that 1 million stack goal. Might move on to a little bit of mining now. Currently working on something on the Zerk, so I need to do some AFK skills, but I did get a KQ task after that Jad one, so we'll jump on over to that when I'm finished. There is 89 mining. I'm still working on the Zerk, so we're going to be able to make some progress towards 90. Picking up 92 Hunter during the Birdhouse run. Technically, that is another 92 stat towards the goal, but for some reason, I have it on the list as a 99 goal. I'm going to be honest, I don't remember why I put it there so early, but it's there now, so we'll knock it out eventually. Probably going to do it through Herbie Ball until we get the pet. Well, if we get the pet, and then move on to the chins for the rest of it. Oh no, move. Yes. No, you fucker. <laughs> No! Ah! That's okay, you had the most points. That would have been very nice, though. <laughs> That's alright. At least we got something. Do I get my preserve, at least? No, I got a dark relic. <laughs> No! Oh, actually, Aventos and Soul Runes, that's not bad. I finished what I was doing on the Zerk about 100,000 experience ago, but I thought I should finish off the level. Kind of enjoying it here, so I might stick around for a little longer, get closer to that 92 while I'm feeling it. One of my biggest fears, when someone says nice videos in a crowded area without mentioning my name. I get nervous because I don't want to say thank you just in case they weren't talking about me and I end up looking like a fucking idiot. But if you were talking to me, thank you very much, buddy. Seven runei ores from the first collection. That has to be my personal best. 91 mining, still hanging out here, enjoying the AFKness. I wasn't going to, but I've decided I may as well hit 92 mining this episode. Only one level off now, but thanks to that level, we are now 2200 total level. Only 77 more levels to go till we max. Damn, that looks good. Well, um, yeah, I was wondering if I was going to get this as well. Pretty much the same time as around fishing too, I think. I I had a feeling I would get, get it, I had a feeling, but I actually did have a feeling I would get it this episode as well. Damn, that is two skilling pets. Eight nuggets and eight runite ore in the first collection. That is a new personal best now. Holy shit. You might have heard it in the last clip, but I am getting sick. It's winter in Australia now, and it fucks me every year, so the voice might be a little dry for the next few weeks. But there is 92 mining, another 92 stat, knocked out. Only prayer, agility, and smithing to go. I do want the preserve scroll before I move on to agility. That's why you saw a couple of raid clips in between mining before. Prayer will bank itself when I go back to Slayer. And as for smithing, let's go check out what sort of ore we are looking at. Okay, so I believe I was about halfway through level 88 before I started this, so this is all the loot I believe I got. Just remember, it's an estimate because I have to go through old clips and whatnot, and we are looking at about 15 mil. That's not bad. Also, 589 golden nuggets, which I'll keep in the bank until we hit level 99 mining because there's no real reason to spend them right now. But I won't be going back to mining until I have a dragon pickaxe. I would like to use a D pick for the rest of these levels. I've done a little bit of calculating and all these ores and bars work out to be roughly 2.4 million experience and we are 4 million XP in smithing. So that gets us pretty much 92 smithing. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out right now and get ourselves another 92 stat towards that goal. 
But before I forget, let's turn this little bastard orange and insure him. Thank you very much. How many is that now? Seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. And three skilling pets. What the hell? There is the first smithing level coming in. 88 smithing. We are one level away from rune darts. Let's go check out what we've gone through. I think we've finished the... Oh, fuck. I forgot to collect. We've finished the iron and myth so far. Moved on to the adamant right now. But we are almost out of coal, it looks like. I don't know if we'll have enough for all of it. Oh, I found it. Someone in the CC called out a dragon impling. And we get... Oh, 115 dragon darts. That is 350k. Shout out to Wardo Polo here. What a legend. There it is. 89 smithing. We can now smith rune dart tips. We've also finally moved on to gold ore. So XP is coming along very nice and quick now. Still got about 13k ore left in the bank, which should get us another level and a half. There is 90 smithing, only about 4,000 gold ore left now, so that should get us about halfway through this level, and then we'll move on to making darts and plate bodies. Alright, so this is a few days later from the last clip, just starting to get my voice back now. Turns out it was the flu, and I've been on bloody bed rest for the last couple of days. I needed OSRS Mobile bad, but there is 91 smithing. I'm smithing plate bodies because I don't use the mithril darts at all. But I did make enough to have a nice juicy stack of 100,000 in the bank just to make it look pretty. Are you kidding me? We are 2.3k away from 92 and I'm completely out of bars. If I didn't stuff up so many gold ore, we'd have it. But I'm going to go buy 50 gold ore or something to get this level so it's knocked out. There it is, 92 smithing. We are halfway to 99 and yet another 92 skill this episode. Only agility and prayer to go. Oh shit, I've just been fletching the darts on my phone and I look back at the screen and I have received a fletching level. We are now level 96 fletching, only three more levels to go for this skill. Finally going to be moving on to this KQ task that we've had for like two weeks now, but I had an easy, medium and hard sitting in the bank. Ah, uh, oh, okay, I'm pretty sure that would be a unique. That is, teleports, can't complain, good teleports too. And hard, Uh yeah, whatever. They were not bad. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I I had a I was like, what if I get a fucking third pet this episode? And oh what the fuck? I have to ensure it. I Oh my fuck. Fucking god, three pets in one episode, and I really wanted this pet. Fuck, my voice is starting to go again. Holy shit. Alright, here we are once again to ensure another pet for the third time this episode. I wasn't really making much sense in the last clip because I was still in a little bit of shock, but what I was trying to say was that I like to think of the next video title and thumbnail while I'm just AFKing or gathering clips. And considering I got those other two pets, I thought to myself, wouldn't it be incredible to get the KQ pet during this task and make a title and thumbnail around that? Like, getting three pets in one episode, what the fuck? And then I actually got the fucking thing. That is ridiculous. I might even go to Skatizo when I get my next greater demon task to try and make it four because why the hell not? Uh, yeah, I died, but there is our first elite clue coming in. We finally got the casket. That was a long one. Uh, oh, wow, that is, uh, that's kind of boring. Picking up another elite clue on 1076. The clue requires a bob shirt, so we're handing it in to Watson. Oh, wow, dragon chain body and an elite clue on kill 1124. Got the casket. Oh, a master clue. Okay, I am down for that. Okay, we've got the master casket. Ah, uh, 330k, bunch of teleports. It could have been better, but whatever. Okay, another Calphite Queen task complete. Walking away with almost 900 wines, 1300 potato cactus, and a lot of shit. Coming close to 8 mil. Oh, and the pet, of course. Can't forget about that one. I'm very, very happy to receive that pet. It is so nice. Got a Smoke Devil task right after the KQ one. Finally finished. Please, no more slow task. I'm over it. We have a hard casket. Ah, uh, yeah, a little boring, but not bad. Casket in the wilderness. Let's go. 
Ah, uh, that's a lot of kite shields. 600 tasks complete in a row, rewarding an extra 375 points. I'm going to go use the cape on this task because Abbey Spectres are nice. Holy shit, my voice. See, every time we come here, we are picking up an elite clue guaranteed. Incredibly easy elite. For the A, that's not bad. That's a, that's a lot of supplies. Almost 200k. Hey, <coughs> what the fuck? <coughs> Granite boots coming in. That is my first unique from the Fossil Island Wyverns. My fucking voice, man. Oh. <coughs> oh, and there's the sword as well. What the fuck? Oh, and there's the sword as well. All right, so I still had the flu at this point, And as you can tell, it had taken a real toll on my voice. It is finally feeling better though after well over a week, so I'm going to be re-recording over a lot of these last couple of clips. Just wanted to sneak in a few of those other ones in there to show you guys how bad it actually got. Here we are, picking up 99 range though, keeping up with the streak of at least 199 per episode. I think we are at like five or six episodes in a row now. I don't know why he's doing it, but it's like having a free ult. I really don't mind. I just want this task over and done with. I don't like this task anymore anyways. Watch. Thank you very much, sir. It helps me a lot. <laughs> oh, wow. We got an elite clue and a hard clue during this Abbey Demon task. I've got the casket for that hard and elite. The hard is boring. And the elite is also very boring. That is actually trash. That is so bad. 165 greater demons. We have 10 totems in total. That is 10 chances at a fourth pet this episode. First kill starting off on KC50. I think I've done like 12 kills before the pet was released. So we're almost to the drop rate sort of. Picking up just a hard clue. Casket in the wilderness. Ah, uh, 15k. Not even 15k. Come on. Another casket. I lost the last one in the wilderness. So this is the third. And we get 130k. Not bad. Uh, another one. Ah. Uh. We'll get something good, I promise. Whoa, that is a lot of drops. We got an elite and a dark totem base. Okay. Okay, we've got the hard and elite. Uh, what's that? 90k, not bad. And the elite. Whoa, that is my first royal piece. Very nice, coming to 120k. I'm happy with that one. Whoa, back-to-back -back elites, I'm happy. Hard and elite clue once again. Oh, room plate legs G. Let's have a look at that one. Ah, duplicate. No worries. The, the last elite was pretty good. So this one is okay. Oh, mahogany planks and another elite. Back to back to back. Not bad at all. Once again, back with a hard and an elite. Um, 28k. It could be better, but the elite with uh, 360k. Not bad at all. Getting close to the end, got a hard casket. Uh, 72k. Oh, we got the Dark Claw that time, and a Dark Totem middle. If we get another Dark Totem piece, we can up, we can do another kill. Because right now we only have one Totem left. Second last hard casket from Skatizo. Ooh. Alright, the last caskets. No four pets in one episode, unfortunately. Uh, not bad. And uh, pretty crap. Alright, 10 Skatizo kills, and you're looking at... 1.6 mil, that's like 160k a kill. That's pretty good. I was just finishing off that Greater Demons task and we picked up a Dark Totem top. We can squeeze in one more Skatizo kill. But before we do that, we did get a hard clue from the Greater Demons themselves. And, uh, eh, whatever. Okay, the absolute final Skatizo kill this episode. The shield left half. Alright then. Ah, oh, you fuckers. And another one. Hey, that is not a unique. Alrighty, that is where I'm going to cut this episode off. I do have a lot more clips, but this episode is already reaching the 20 minute mark. And I understand that it can be tough to free up that sort of time in a day to watch a video. And you also start to lose focus and attention if it drags on for too long. So that seems like a decent place to call it. And it will allow me to get next episode out quicker because I'll have all those extra clips for it. I'm beginning to feel better. I still have a sore throat, but nowhere near what it was. 
Going to be focusing a lot on Slayer next episode, really want to get certain tasks to help me progress towards maxing. Might even attempt a solo raid or two to try and unlock the Preserve Prayer so I can knock out that 92 agility. As for the Zerka, I've been extremely drained for the last week or two. I've had no energy or motivation to be playing two accounts at once, so I decided to focus solely on the Iron Man. But now that I am feeling better, that episode should be out soon. Not exactly sure when, but I already had quite a few clips of that one before I fell sick, so it shouldn't be too long from now. But as always, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.